Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat little presentation for you, and we think you're going to really enjoy it. The topic of our conversation, well, there are times where you want to entertain, you want to have party time, but it's an informal gathering of friends. You'd like to have a nice atmosphere, you'd like to have a party kind of atmosphere, yet at the same time, you don't want to get extravagant. Well. At Rittner's Floral, we tell our students, if it can hold foam, if it can hold water, it can hold flowers. And that's exactly what we're going to be showing you today. Because there are all kinds of things that can be used as containers. Things that we normally think of as containers, glassware, ceramic, plastic. But there are also other things that are not normally thought of as containers for flowers and yet we can make very, very good use of them. And this is a good example. Here we have one of the little uh, red solo cups that are commonly used for party time. And we fill it with some of our foam and our flowers. For us in the floral field, containers aren't just containers. They're our friends. And therefore, we want to show you in this quick video how you can have fun with some of these friends from a floral point of view. This first example is a very, very good example of some of the kinds of things you can do with this media. If we look at it close up, you can see we've got a nice assortment of things. We've got some foam in the container. We have a variety of different kinds of flowers in use here. We have some of our spray roses that are absolutely incredible. We've got some of our green Athos palms placed here and there, a few of our red carnations, a yellow palm, some of our heather material. It is absolutely gorgeous. These things are showy. They're fun. They're the kind of thing you can put on a coffee table, you can put on the mantle, you can put in the kitchen, you can put around the house, and they're really fun and easy to make, and they add a little bit of festivity to your event or your occasion, and they do it in a very very nice way. Let's show you another example of this kind of designing because they're quick and they're easy to come up with. Here is another example of this kind of design. If you look closely, you'll see uh, a nice combination of materials here. We've got two of our Fujis. They happen to be more on the lavender area. We've got two of our orange roses, peachy orange roses. We've got a few of our daisy palms placed here and there through our design, and then to cre create uh, a little bit more coverage and also to fill in. We've got a lot of our heather placed here, here, here through the design. And then we're playing dramatically with the heather, having it shooting out over towards the sides. So you don't have to use fancy materials. You can use all kinds of things to come up with very, very neat effects using this kind of an approach with these kinds of bases. Here's another example that I think you may enjoy seeing, my viewer of something that you can do using some of these uh, plastic party cups. In this particular one, this design is a little bit taller. If we look at it, we see that you not only have the flowers in there, but coming up a little bit higher, you've got some of our curly willow shooting out over here. You've got some of the Australian greens coming here and over here and over here to the side. So that extends the sight lines of this design a little bit bigger. But at the heart of it, we've got several of our roses tucked in. We've got some of our uh, peach colored spray roses placed here, a few of our Athos palms, a few mini carnations, and then a few of our uh, yellow palms placed here. These are the kinds of things that you can play with, you can have fun, you can do some very, very neat things with. Here's another example of this genre of designing that you can do. Now, this one's kind of an interesting one. If you examine it closely and carefully, you'll notice that we have something besides our flowers in here. We've got, of course, our little red cup that we're starting off with. Of course, these cups come in other colors as well, but red happens to be one of the favorite things as far as party time. And we've got our little red cup here. We've got some of our red carnations, a few pieces of heather, some of our yellow daisy palms placed here and there. The foliage is Galax foliage. It's amazing stuff. It's coming in very, very nicely at the present time. And notice the two little balls over here. Uh, this is an homage to the game that a lot of people love to play at party time using uh, ping pong balls. In this particular case, we could have taken a couple of ping pong balls, glued them to a little stick, and placed them in. We're using actually some small styrofoam balls that simulate the ping pong kind of an effect. 
but it certainly gets across the topical theme and it certainly is one way that you can help liven up the party. Uh, here's another example going along the same line, very, very similar kind of thing. In this particular case, we've got again our red cup here and we've got some of our Gaelic sleeves placed around it here and there. We have in the center a nice cluster of all kinds of spray roses. These are absolutely amazing spray roses placed in here. Some of our green Athos palms here and there. And then again, one of our styrofoam balls just to simulate and suggest the ping pong ball. Actually, if I had a few of the ping pong balls on hand, I would have used them. Uh, we didn't, so we went with the next best thing, which we happen to have in stock here, which was uh, some, of our, um, some of our styrofoam balls. So it's an interesting twist on this. Now we can do all kinds of other things uh, using this kind of base. This base allows us all kinds of things. As you can see very clearly, my viewer, as I said before, if you can put foam in it, you can design in it. And that is a truism that you should always keep in mind. Nothing is, is exempt. Anything that you happen to have on hand in your home, you can use to come up with some interesting designing. Now notice in this particular case we start with our of course our favorite party cup but then in order to come up with an interesting design we've got several sections here. We've got a section of some of our carnations. Notice the carnations placed in here so you can see the carnations very very nicely and then in addition to our carnations in this particular design we've got a little segment of our roses all clustered in the middle and then just a sprig of ivy worked in isn't that really cute it's very easy all you have to do is make a couple of circles of flowers throw in a little ivy place it on a counter a sideboard and you've got something that definitely is going to get across your party theme in a very very nice way Here's an example that we want to show you that does a similar kind of process. This one is a little bit more developed. It's a little bit more involved, a little bit larger. But we wanted to show you this one, my viewer, just so that you can get a sense of the idea of scale. You'll notice that the designs we've been showing you up to the present time have been fairly small in terms of the scale aspect. They've been small like this, but we can make things fairly large and we can play with the media a little bit and this is a very very good example of doing just that. In this particular case you've got a little bit more height in this design. The height is achieved several ways. It's achieved again through the use of some of our Australian greens. These are these um, pieces of foliage that are coming up fairly high on the design. You'll notice we've got one over here, we've got one over here, one over here, a little bit over on this side. In addition to the Australian greens that we have in this arrangement, we also have some of our fantail willow. This stuff is amazing. It's still even blooming once we put it into some of our water. And then the bulk of the design is made using our roses and our spray roses. We've got our roses coming down here and shooting over to this side. And we've got a few of our spray roses coming down here, shooting over to this side. The uh, bulk of our design is covered through the use of our heather here, 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 here throughout the design. It is a lovely high style design. In other words, we can come up with designing when we're doing uh, these kinds of party designs that can be very simple or can be more complex, that can be smaller and also can be larger. Okay, my viewer, so far we've seen a, a sample of some of the kinds of things you can do in these containers. Uh, you never probably thought of these kinds of bases as bases that you would be doing uh, designing in. You probably thought of them as a receptacle for some of your favorite beverages. However, we can do some pretty cool things and it's kind of fun when we do one of these demonstrations not only to show you some ideas of things that you can do but also to actually do one in front of you so that you can get a sense of just how easy these things are to create. Uh, the uh, little cup that we have here already has some foam placed in it. We've used some of our baker fern just to kind of make a little moundy. We put a few pieces around the side, a few, few pieces in the center and having that we're ready to go with our flowers. We're going to use a nice combination of materials in it. I'm going to take a single rose and place a single rose smack dab in the center of the design. I'm going to place a second rose and I'm going to cut it and place it out towards us so we have one facing towards us. I'm going to take another rose and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This is a design meant to be viewed all the way around so we're going to have three of our roses one faced towards the front, one face towards the back, one in the center. I'm going to take a fourth rose 
and I'm going to place my fourth rows over to the right hand side of the design and I'm going to take a fifth rose and place it in towards the left part of my design. Notice with five roses, look at the effect I'm getting. Quick and easy. And that, my friends, is the Rittner Floral School way. Quick and easy. Because we believe that floral designing should be quick, easy, and fun as much as we can. And we're going to add a few more things to it. Let's take a few of our carnations. I've got a few yellow carnations. It's a good keeping flower. It's available throughout the year. Let's work one over on one side. Let's work another one over onto the other side of our design. So we've got a couple of our yellow carnations. I'm going to place another one of my yellow carnations and I'm going to place it over here. And by doing it that way, notice that we're making something that's very, very symmetrical in shape, but by adding it coming over like here, it gives an asymmetric aspect to the design, makes it a little bit visually more interesting. And now, we played with a lot of our heather in our designing. Heather is a magnificent material. It's pretty. It comes in in this kind of red-violet. It's available pretty much through the year. I'm going to take some of my heather, and unlike some of the other designs that we've been showing you so far, we were using our heather in a way that would essentially uh, pretty much cover our entire mechanics with it. I'm not going to cover my entire mechanics with my heather, but I am going to shoot a little bit, bit of it out here and there just for interest and to come up with an interesting effect. It is a pretty, pretty flower and we love it. Of course, we could use other kinds of accent flowers in our design to come up with interesting effects. And again, I'm taking it, working it here and there, and notice that the use of the heather it's kind of giving us a little bit of a wilder effect to it. So although this design started as a very symmetrical kind of thing, by shooting some heather out here, shooting it out here, shooting it over here, shooting it over there, it gives a very, very neat effect to our piece and it makes it feel uh, less uh, regimented if you wanted to call it that. I'm going to also take another piece and place it out towards the back. You don't see it from the angle that you're looking at my viewer but it is meant to be viewed all the way around and we're going to achieve that effect by placing one as such. Um, I'm going to take just a little bit more of my heather, place another piece kind of going over here and then I think that's pretty much it for our heather. Let's go to another flower. This happens to be one of my favorite flowers, although my students tell me that every flower that I use is a favorite flower. This is called an athos palm. It's in the palm family. It is amazing in terms of its color, this lovely lime green color. It's available pretty much through the year, and you can't kill the darn thing. Holds up very, very well. And it's just perfect for providing a touch of color to our design and giving us a little bit of contrast giving us a little bit of contrast with our yellows and our reds. And you'll notice how just a few of these placed here and there into our design really makes it stand out. It gives us contrast. It gives us contrast of color. It gives us contrast of shape. I'm going to place something over back here and also perhaps something over towards the back side of the piece using some of our Athos palms. So you can see, this design looks pretty darn good. We could stop at this point, my viewer. But wait, there's more. Let's play with it just a little bit more. I happen to love this stuff. This is some of our Australian foliage. Our wholesaler is calling it Australian pine. It's neat stuff. And it gives an interesting effect. Perhaps you have some foliage in your backyard that you may want to play with and, and work in. It just gives a little bit wilder effect to our design. So I'm taking a few pieces of this and I'm working it here and there into our arrangement to add just a little bit more uh, interest to our arrangement. So notice that we're taking our materials, working a little here and there. I am, of course, going to work also some of this in towards the back. One of my green palms I want to work in towards the back part of my design and also a little bit more of our Australian greens because, again, it is meant to be viewed all the way around. And you can see, my viewer, we've basically put together very, very quickly a lovely arrangement, a pretty arrangement using one of these red solo cups. It gives a great effect. It's quick. It's easy. You can have a lot of fun doing these kinds of things. And the beauty of it is it's perfect for when you want to have a few friends over for a nice event uh, and it doesn't have to be fancy. We could leave this like this or we could trim this a little bit because this is coming out a little bit on us in terms of the petal. So I'm going to trim this petal just a little bit on it and then we have our design all ready and set.
So what do you think, my viewer? Quick and easy. That's the Rittner Floral School way. You've seen we've covered a lot of ground in the last few minutes. As we mentioned, if it can hold foam, if it can hold water, we can design in it. And this is a good example of thinking out of the box. If you're going to have a gathering of some of your friends, you can take your favorite party cup and you can design with it. You can come up with a very, very neat effect using it and do all kinds of things with flowers. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, it was a pleasure having you come in and visit with one of our classrooms today. We've all been working very hard to present this presentation to you. On behalf of all of us, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.